He's just absolutely disgusting. I can't... Welcome. Sorry, hang on. Welcome to the adventures. The, re the return of Mr. Meathead. Yesterday, we we died. Uh, everyone was saying, don't don't give up when you not get not too conscious. So I loaded back to when we were not too conscious. And we died. Uh, so what I've done is, is I've gone ahead and... Basically followed your mod suggestions yesterday. I, I also kind of followed a, a beginner's guide to Kenshi. Um, the, 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 what I want to do with this campaign really is to kind of learn how the game works. Learn the point of the game. What we're actually aiming to do here. And sort of fi for, find the various things to do. I should probably phrase that as. So that we can really dive into the mods head first. And, 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 and sort of build the world as we want it. And try and customize things a little bit in that regard. So this series is just a sort of me learning the game series. And then after after that, depending on how this goes. More than happy to go butt wild with some of the other crazy mods. That some of you guys have been have been suggesting. So for this mod, we have uh, an XP multiplier enabled. So we've got something like two times XP, I think it was. Um, I also have a mod that makes it so mining affects strength, because, I mean, that just makes sense, that if he's going to spend 16 hours a day swinging a pickaxe. Basically, I just wanted to be able to get and see what this game has to offer, uh, for both for those of you who have never seen Kenshi before, and for my benefit as well, so that if we do start a new series in the future, I, I'm, I'm, I'm armed with... How this fucking game works. So we basically back to before Meat did all of his mining. Because I figured we kind of want a, a kind of fresh slate. So I'll just go out and do a shitload of mining until we can get that fancy jabby stick that I spent all of yesterday getting again. And then we'll dive in from there. One thing everyone was telling me to do was to specifically lose fights. Because losing fights is the best way to get... Uh, to kind of toughen ourselves up a little bit. So I won't immediately run away from everybody we see unless i guess it's a group of a dozen people at that point i might run away uh but we'll see how it goes i, I assume we just want to get into fights get ourselves beaten up a little bit as long as we're not bleeding out that was the issue last time both the times we were knocked out and i reloaded back into those we were we were bleeding out and i died before uh meathead died before he was able to get back up on his feet so for now meathead's going back to his, his classic and that should be training uh, let's go to our stats here a second. Oh, I, I added a map mod too to add like overlays to things. Um, and obviously the UI is slightly tidier now. I definitely prefer this one. Let's go to our stats then. And that should be in theory building up our strength. Uh, it do be like that. It do be like that. In fact, it's building up very, very fast. Oh, fuck off. Oh God, that's the issue with having ourselves zoomed in. Um, now that we've, now that we've been beaten up, can I, oh, come on. Run, 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 run. There we go. Come on, wide berth. Come on, wide berth. Look at this. Extreme tactics. Give them the old razzle dazzle. Okay. Um, I assume now that we've been beaten up a little bit, that will affect our. That will affect us being slightly better. Let's go and get into the top of that building. Let's do our usual tactic of running away. Good work. Okay. Um, so we need to like bandage ourselves up or something. Your, st your stomach is. Okay, so, so we're sort of getting worse, indicated by that arrow, I would assume. Fuck off. Okay. Just give him, give him a slip. Give him a slip. Get out there. Okay, okay. Good shit, good shit, good shit. We could fight him. And I guess, wait, maybe these guys will bandage up? The, the, the guys out here? Oh, okay. Or you guys could just kill him. That would help out. I don't have a med kit. No, we fucking don't. Um. Oh my god, he looks a little bit, um. He looks a little bit worse for wear there. Oh god, the blood doesn't like his horrible back. Okay. Uh, let's go, let's go back to town then, I guess. Or maybe one of these guys can sell us a med kit. I'll wait for the combat to end. Uh, excuse me, can we have a, can we have a chat? No, they won't talk to us. Bollocks. Okay. Uh, let's see if the bodies have anything on them then. Um, inventory. Eight cats. Eight whole cats. Thank you. Uh, I gotta drag that. What, one cat added. Two, uh, how do I? There's gotta be a button to. Oh, there you go. Right click it. Got it, got it, got it. Who was saying there's a lot of right click options that I've been missing out on? Like holding right click on people will show different options. Like there's bandits that were moving away yesterday. Um, they've all got money now. I think that's one of the mods that we've got that. Hello? <laughs> Somewhere, there's a bot. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what have you got? 26 cats. Oh, he's got a sword. Hungry bandit leader. Oh, we got some sandals. We got some better pantsu. Holy shit. Uh, horse chopper. Give me that. Whoa. Okay, an upgrade for my man, Meathead. Right, let's get, let's get home immediately and start patching ourselves up because we seem to be... We seem to be on the verge of dying here. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, run, 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 run. Where's the, where's the town? Oh, it's fucking miles away. Run, little meat. Run, little meat. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hello? Uh, stop. Trade. 
Yes, let's do business. Uh, bandages, bandages, pause. Bandages. Basic first aid kit. How much you want? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the lot. I mean, we don't really have a choice, do we? Um, gotta remember, right click is the button. Okay. Um, uh, uh, do we want anything else? Oh, I didn't pick up my damn copper. Okay, well, I doubt we probably got any in that time. Wanted. Giant King Gurgler. Wanted for the cannibalism of... An enormous beast with more similarity to a Hiveman cross crab tenfold in size. <clears throat> Here's an idea. What do you think about becoming a bounty hunter? Meet the bounty hunter. You imagine you see right now he looks a bit and uh, looks a bit of a sorry state. But you imagine when my man gets like you know, gets like sixty pounds of muscle on him and has a giant fuck off hammer and some armor. That's gonna be a horrifying sight. I'm I could be into Okay, well what have you got for me again? Sorry? Uh Giant King Gurgler. Gimme that. Gimme that. You can't afford it. I can't afford it. I just wanna I just there we are. That's what I thought. Okay. Cool. That might be that might be a job for us. And let's also buy some... No, no, no. Don't buy that food. That shit's really expensive. Dried fish. Yeah, give me a dried fish. There we are. Um, have you got any other food that's cheap? Bread is 30, 30 new. Is that cats? I don't know what... Wait, wait, wait. No, that's nutrition. Hang on. Uh, value... Good God, that's expensive. Horrible dry, dry bread for that much money. I think really one of the things I need to learn is to uh, how, how to get food good. Maybe set up our own farm or something like that. Could we set up a farm by the copper mine? I can just sit there for days mining away. Um, right, good. Okay, let's stop pissing around. Let's start tending to ourselves then a little bit. Boom. Just right click. Oh my god. <laughs> and then... Oh, so he automatically tends, what, the worst wound that he has? Oh, just tends everything, I guess, in order, perhaps? I have no idea. Bloodhead, chest, stomach. Yeah, probably is in order. Uh, seeing as that seems like the most severe, going to the least severe there. Okay, let's get you completely patched up then, friend. Uh, maybe I've just got to wait for those to regenerate now. I just worry that if we find any more bandits, we've got minus eight on our stomach, they could just run us through and we'd be dead immediately. Oh well, let's run back to our tasty copper mine. That's a good start though. People were telling me I need to get beaten up, and this is this is the perfect start. I've got 300 dollar dues left though, so we can't afford any bandages. Maybe we should stock up on bandages too, that wouldn't hurt. Oh, we got shitloads. Oh, I went crazy on that. Okay. Yeah, I definitely went a little bit too hard on the bandages. Then. Never mind, that's all right. Okay, give me back to my, give me back to my rock. Fuck. Oh God, easy pickings. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see about that, you bitches. Right, run back, run back. Go back to the safety pub. Safety pub, help me out here. Is that another fucking bandit? What? Wait, red, red means, red means kill. I assume. Help me, ninjas. They're getting in there. They're getting in there. Okay. I hope, to be honest. The ninjas get killed at some stage so I can take their weapons. Eight dried fish. Well, it's good to see we're helping out during combat. Weapon this time. Got us in the head. Okay. Let's bandage up our boy while we let our our friends deal with him. Good shit. Good shit. And how do I know if I've I've been beaten up to the extent that I'm now better? Uh no, no, no get out of here. Map. Uh toughness. Seven. Five percent. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're getting six levels of toughness and we're up to nineteen strength. Maybe my guy should get in the combat here and, and help him out. Get in there. Get in there. Kill, kill him dead. What? Kill him. Kill him dead. Yeah. Kill him. Hack him apart, me. Oh, look at him go. These half-killed bandits, thanks to the more ninjas inside the inside the bar. Fucking kill him dead. We just hack that man's leg clean off. You see that? He's a professional. He's a professional slayer right there. Oh, well, that's some good shit. That's some good shit. Stand proud, me. <laughs> oh, don't. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That, what? Stop that! No, you're a hungry bandit. Why would I? Why would I give a shit about not stealing from a hungry bandit? Kill that bandit dead. Yeah, that's it. Get get your ass beat and kill that bandit dead. This is fantastic. Oh come on! I bought him this big pokey stick and he can't even kill a single dude. I ain't letting a dog shit like you outdo me, bandit. What a fucking stupid thing to say. Okay, um, look at this. Look at, what are those boots? Prisoner shackles. We don't want those. Was that someone's prisoner bandit that I've just murdered? Am I going to be in trouble with someone now? No one will ever know. Finally done it. Five solid days of 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 mining copper, and now we've got ten thousand dollar dues in the bank, and we've got ourselves the, the stabby pole arm uh, and three meat that I stole from a random man. Let's go and see what the hell those guys have got going for us. Then the mall ninjas back up in the main city. We'll join those guys. I think our guys kind of hungry because we've only got raw meat in our backpack right now. I need to learn to cook. I also need to learn what all of this 
research stuff is. Need to. Oh, so we just got to build a research bench. Right, got it, got it, got it. We won't worry about that for the time being. I mean, these guys sound like they're going to promise to give us somewhere to live anyway. Hello, it's me, your good man, Meathead. Oh my god, it didn't occur to me how much taller he is than everyone else. That's fucking frightening. Uh, you want on the Shinobi, eh? Guys trying to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling nobody. They're nothing, nothing. A few cats can't handle. I want to join. You can join for a fee. Absolutely. Uh, 10,000 cats. It is very expensive. What do I get in return for all that money? Allies, we have highlights like this in all major town. We watch each other at the back. We stick together. Cool. That sounds that sounds like a good idea. Specialist training equipment. We can say... Okay, this sounds incredible. Sign me up. Welcome, brother, to the Shinobi Thieves. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Shinobi Thieves are now your allies. All right, here we go then. Uh, hello. Uh, Guild Plastic Surgeon. Oh, thank the fucking gods. He's fixed. His new shinobi friends have, have, have hammered him back into shape. And all that time mining. That's another thing we got to check. Is all that time mining. How, how did how it do? 54 strength. That's quite a lot. I, I assume that's quite a lot. It seems like quite a lot. Anyway, 54 strength from five days solid of mining. Fair enough. Eight toughness from being beaten up by the occasional bandits. We've got four decks, which is from... Yeah, handling, reloading we range weapons, and then train it by a... Yeah, attack with light weapons, that's it. We've got three in sabers, four in melee attack, two in melee defense, and 17 athletics. Look at my man now. He's not going to make the best thief, I'll be honest with you. But in terms of combat, I feel like he's got a hell of a fucking reach. Okay, is there anyone else we can speak to? That's a plastic surgeon. What the hell is even that? Hello? <laughs> okay, bye then. i got training dummies. Ah, oh, so we can probably beat those up for a while and... Uh, what have we got here? Hello? Um... New member, eh? Unless you enjoy this side of the jail sound, not that shifty look off your face. I can spot you a mile off. What have you got for me? What do you buy? Illegal goods that you can smuggle into the city. Drugs, that kind of thing. If you've gotten stolen that you want to fence to my friend here, that's his territory. Got it. Uh, who, who are you talking about? I have no idea. Uh, I think I have something to trade. What does he trade is the important thing. Right, so we've got black rag shirts. Okay, those seem pretty good. We've got backpacks. Ah, oh, people were telling me to get a backpack. Okay, fair enough. Uh, assassin's rags. We've got... Ninja Rags Research Blueprint. And then we've got all sorts of various swords here. I mean, we're, we're good in terms of weapon, I think. Right, that's cool. Okay, we need to earn some dollar and probably come back and see what this guy's got. What is this chest about? Is that something to practice? Oh, it's to practice your training. Holy shit, I think we need another training montage then. I'm going to try and earn enough dollar then to be able to buy... Uh, how the hell do I build shit? All right, I, fi I figured now's the best time to learn that. I want to put down a campfire, see if we can cook this meat. Um, We just... We just... We just what? Uh, camp Campfire? Boom. Okay. Uh, then what? Press confirm when finished. Ah, oh, like that's my bad. There we go. Okay, let's go and see if we can cook this, cook this food. Then, um, how would I do that? We would. Oh, it's it's gone. I assume it. <sighs> All right, never mind. It doesn't sell any. It doesn't sell any backpacks anymore. I'm kind of tempted by these ninja rags though. They give. Oh, what was it? These ones also give like a combat speed effect. Yeah, so 10% combat speed. Um, melee attack bonus plus 8 as well. Seems pretty goddamn good. So Assassin's Rags, how much are they? 1,419. How much have we got? 4,800. See, I want to buy enough food so that we can just sit in the tower and train ourselves up for days on end. Without much... We did get beaten up a little bit as well. Um, I'm not sure. Man, some of this stuff seems really cool. Look at that thing. Value 12,000. Jesus. Okay. Well, let's buy... Let's buy one of these. That also gives her 1.3 times to the assassination skill, so that seems pretty good. Let's take those. Uh, and I also noticed that the Godless Katana also gives a plus 8 attack bonus, which is pretty nuts. Um, how much is that? 4,700 gold. Can't afford that at all. I want to wait until I get to backpack in stock. I think that would be quite useful to have early on. I'm going to go buy a shitload of food, and then we're just going to stand in the ninja tower and train our ninja skills until we become the Hokage. <laughs> After hours on end of picking locks and hitting dummies, we're up to 17 lock picking, 17 assassination, and whatever else we trained up. Was it? I have no idea. I have no idea what the other one trained up. Um, but I noticed they've got a bunch of, uh, of of lock chests that are filled with some pretty good looking stuff here. We've got plate jacket. Now, I wanted to go exploring a bit, get out there into the world and see what it has to offer. I, I, I mean, black plate jacket. Apparently sounds like it's pretty decent armor, judging by at least the description. Obviously, the numbers mean absolutely nothing to me yet, because I have no experience at all with this game. Um, what's that? 17% cut resistance. Wait, it's worse than what we've got right now. How is... How is a black plate jacket got less cut resistance than Assassin's Rags? What? Okay. Um, that's very strange. 
It's, it's very strange. I was going to steal this, uh, but I guess it's not as good as what we've got already. And a lot of this stuff is locked, so I wanted to see if I can lockpick it, but it's, it's ridiculously high level, so we can't do much about that one. Um, we've got Black Rag shirt there, and that is it. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I guess we'll move on to the next city then, and, and, and really just see what the world has to offer, experience what we've got along the way. Maybe there'll be another ninja tower we can steal from. Go to the map. I want to go to... What's this one here? Squin. I want to go to Squin. So that's the that's a little bar that we found. So we've got to go down here, and then we've got to hang... When we get back to the copper, we've got to hang west. Uh, kind of kind of southwest along our path, if there is one, until we hit there. Uh, what else we got here? We've got the swamp, the grid, the crater... Why does nowhere sound nice to live? The spider plains, the Sten Desert, Dreg. What about nice field? How about that shit? What like nice, nice cozy field where you can grow lots of crops even? There's nothing here. Sniper Valley and the pits, for fuck's sake. I think it's roughly this way. Uh, I will obviously keep it on the map because I don't want to end up in fucking Kidney Steeler Canyon or Rabid Dog Grove or some of these other not so pleasant sounding places. I'm pretty sure it was up here, wasn't it? Um, you can't really see too far ahead, but I'm pretty sure it was this way. Um, we'll take a look. There's lights over there. It could be promising. Um, show me the map again. Where, where are we? Facing... Is that where I'm facing? Right, so I'm gonna go this way. Uh, map? What's the, what does that mean? Animal. Animal claw. I wanna go there. Uh, how can I see where I've put my marker down to? Also, where the hell are we? Oh! Oh, you just put a marker on the map and you can run there. Oh, cool. Okay, well that makes things a little bit easier. Um, maybe I shouldn't run into this big animal paw area, because I have a feeling we're going to get murdered, but we'll, we'll have a look around. Um, where are we now, then? We're trying to get to there, right? Okay. Let's see where he decides to go. Uh, and if we see anything big coming at us across the horizon, we'll do a 360 and we'll walk away. Uh, oh, oh, what the hell are those? Little, little dogs. Hello? No, 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 no. What are they? How do I see what they are? Do I... Bone dog. Wolves. Um, yeah, maybe we'll avoid that. Maybe we'll come back here later on when perhaps we've got some more people on our team. So I feel like one dude versus six dogs is a terrible idea. What is that over there? Oh, it's still copper and it's all copper and iron. Um, discovered unknown tower. Un unknown ta tower? Uh, you guess as good as mine on that one. Un unknown tower. Oh, there it is across the horizon. Oh, cool. And there's the rebel base. Darth Vader will be happy about that. Well, let's head over to Squin then. Okay, this looks promising, I think. Oh, are those just cactuses? I genuinely thought that was building then. Um, I assume we can't do anything with those, no? Man, it's all just one dirty big desert, huh? We got iron resource there. I mean, if we could find a city with a bit more of a convenient copper resource, I wouldn't mind that. Anyway, I think this is it. Here we go. Okay, cool. Oh, this one's, uh, this one looks a little bit nicer. Let's go and have a look around. Hello, friends. Um, flat skin disdain. What? Oh, they don't like us. Smuggling checks, remove your effects, flat skin. Um, show them my gear. You may pass. Thank you. Oh, we're in a we're in a dirty orc city, or not not orcs, but whatever they were called again. Uh, Shreks. Right, is this the this is the ninja tower, right? Oh no, definitely not. Hello, hundred guardian. I'm a bounty hunter looking for work. Yeah, check the wanted posters. Search the outlands. For, I'm I'm absolutely a bounty hunter looking for work now. Um, check the posters. I assume they're supposed to be here. There's no wanted bounties yet, then. Oh, that's a shame. Um, and, I mean, I am also a thief, so we might as well have a look around and see what else there is going on for us here. Uh, not that I'm going to steal with this many dudes kicking around, obviously. Right, let's check floor two. Is this supposed to be another ninja tower? I guess it's just a random random bounty hunter guild. Okay. Um, here we have a bunch of cages. That's where we're going to end up, guarantee it. Oh, this one's much better than the other shitty tower we're in. Look, there's actual buildings with, with roofs on them. Mad. Uh, the shirt will cost every last flat skin nest in this world. The greedy fat cows repulse me. I'm feeling I shouldn't speak to that guy. I don't think he'd like me. Hello. Uh, I'm here to trade. What have you got? I've got tasty meaty wraps. I should buy some... I think I should buy some dry meat. Bear in mind we've spent days in the desert. Oh, what is that you've got there? Do you know what you've got? The Red Bandit. Race Greenlander. Male. Ugly as a gutter and friggin' huge. Wanted for arson, robbery, extortion. Give me that. Give me that. Meet the bounty hunter. Need to, we need to get some field experience, which is why we're kind of out here in the desert. We want to go beat up some bandits or something rather than taking on these, these actual bounties. Uh, all right, okay. What have we got here, then? This is a... I'm going to assume a clothes shop? Maybe an armor shop? Oh, yeah. There we go. Wow, look at this. Okay. 
Samurai armor. How much is that one? Uh, 6,000. Six fucking thousand. Where am I supposed to get 6,000 from? I guess we've got two different approaches then. We could even... We, we could go for the, the assassin style bounty hunter. Sneak around, try and maximize our, our assassination skill, which obviously we've, we've kind of started down that route. But that also means not wearing things like this stuff and the, the big heavy samurai armor. Or we go for the big, powerful samurai kind of unmoving tank style character. Um, a lot of this stuff drops stealth though, doesn't it? Man, I feel like I feel like uh, any armor isn't really going to come in too helpful. I, I mean, the face plates don't lower anything. I guess those are only a bonus. We'll go ahead and buy that. There we are. Um... Boots, lower, again, lower movement. Uh, skeleton repair kit, not, not too interested in that one, thank you. Um, samurai cloth pants, are those better than what we've got right now? We've just got ragged, 100% chance of, of fencing, that's fine. Because we could buy some better trousers, although they're quite expensive. 1,900 left, we've got a decent amount of food as well, so we're not too desperate for for money making. Um, we've got a leather vest, or we've got this leather shirt seems pretty good. Oh, that's quite expensive though. Um, I also buy this one, this shoddy leather shirt. It's 1,200, so we can afford it, and it gives a decent layer of defense. Fine. There we are. Look at him now. Ready to get out there hunting. I kind of know he's got a somewhat transparent midriff there. It's not a problem. When's the transparent midriff? Do you think that would stop Dog, the bounty hunter? Nothing. Nothing's going to stop my man. Sh uh, Shrek outsider and outsider curious. Tell me, uh, outsider, how much do you know of outsider Shrek society out outsider? Um, I They believe in honor through battle. Correct. Great news. Um... I have more honor in my pinky than most. I feel like that's a terrible idea. Sounds like a fun city. Oh, we've got the Stone Golem. Uh, Stone Golem is our queen. She has a more passive take on dealing with our enemies than most people would like. I see. Uh, thank you. Thanks, thanks for letting me know. A little bit, little bit of lore there. Um, what is this one? Chain Armor Crafting Bench. Oh, hello. Okay, let's go check this thing out. Uh, or, or not. Hang on. Uh, can't interact with it. I guess it's because it's not ours. Ooh. Hang on. <laughs> what have we got there? Mm, just gonna... What was the stealing chance on that? 50%? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, we got some blueprints. Very nice. Oh, shit, though. Hang on. Oh, it affects stealth quite significantly. That one's fine, though. I, that just gives threat, threat melee defense bonus, but we will be swapping that out, I assume, for our assassin rags. Okay. Um, Is it worth anything? Is, is it worth potentially getting into trouble stealing? No, not really. Um... What about in here? Value. I mean, that one's not bad. 213. Someone's coming upstairs now. Maybe we should bail. So value 58. Okay, so there's potentially 200 credits there just kicking around if you want those. Okay, weapon shop. They've got a load of big fuck off swords. Wow. Holy shit. Some of these are really cool. 14,000. Good God. Um, That is quite cool. I, I mean, I kind of feel like that would suit... That would suit me a little bit longer with his with his long ass hands. He's got he's got some big hands, this boy. So I feel like a, a massive weapon to go in those big hands would be <laughs> would be kind of on brand. Um, what have we got upstairs? Anything I can steal? It? Oh, hang on, hang on a second. We might not need to buy the cleaver. We could just we could just steal it. We could just steal it. Hang on. Um, oh, okay. This might suit me more than the, the than the ninja stuff. We just go for big big boy assassin. Can we? We can. <gasps> Okay, shh. Thank us. The Shinobi taught us something. Big success. What have we got? Can I can I steal that? 53%. Fuck off, Steam. 53%. Got caught cool stealing. Oh, no. Uh, no, Papa. What have we got in here? Hang on. Anything worth stealing again? God, some of these are really good. Give me that shit. Can we... Oh, we can't steal it because we haven't got the inventory room for it. I see. Um, yeah, that is a slight issue. That is a, that is a slight problem. Wait, they got caught cool Steam, but they don't ca care? I don't think they care, particularly. Um, yeah, we can't steal any of this shit. It doesn't fit in our inventory. Damn it. Okay, well, I don't want it anyway, then. Um, <gasps> ah, shit! What? Drop it, please. I didn't, st I didn't steal anything. Run. Run, me. Oh, this was a bad idea. Get out of here, get out of here. Foolish flat skin. No, 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 no. You've never seen me before. Okay. Uh, through the middle, through the middle. Oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. What are you doing? No. You would not. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? They, they put me in a cage? No? What are you guys doing? We're just, we're just, we're just on this dude's back now. We're just on this dude's back now. Hmm. <laughs> um, right, good. Incredible. Uh, 
I, I guess we're just, I guess this is it. And now we've got to sit here until our stomach causes us to bleed to death, I, I would assume. I, I'll give another hour, maybe. Um, God, I hope this is before we've been captured. Are we, are we fine? I think we're fine. Uh, yeah, 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 this is when we're talking to the weapon guy. Okay. Um, good, good. Uh, so basically, don't ever try stealing. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So we've got a bar there. We've got, uh, tr trading marketplace. What is this one? Okay. Um, I need to get used to the signs as well. It's just a general goods store. Ah, uh, okay, got it. Right, fair enough. Let's go to the bar then. And let's see what... I, I mean, realistically, I think we just need some more teammates right now. That definitely wouldn't go amiss. It's meat versus the world, and that's not... It's not ideal unless I want to sit there in the ninja tower for the next four years. Just, just punching away. Um... Can you, can I, can I trade with you? No? Uh, okay. Hello? Uh, need recruits? How much? 6,000 cats. How the fuck am I supposed to get that many cats? How am I supposed to get that many cats? That's like days worth of, uh, are you a warrior? One of the best. Um, Rain the Giant. 7,500 cats. I can't afford 7,500 cats, my friend. I can't afford that shit. I'm gonna have to go and find a better way to make money rather than just sat, sitting there on copper for... Quite literally hours on end. So apparently, looting uh, is, is a pretty good early game strategy. The wiki says, quite, quite literally, mine, ignore all iron, loot, or trade. I don't know if we've got enough dollar reduced to make trading worthwhile. So we're going to run all the way to the city of Bast and see if we can grab some, grab some crap off the floor. Apparently, wandering patrols will fight one another frequently. So that might be a good way for Meathead. But more importantly, it's experience. You know, he's going to get out here into the world a little bit more. We want to experience what the world has to offer. We might end up fighting some people along the way, training up our combat skills. We've got enough provisions, I think, to get there relatively safely. You know, we've got shitload of bandages. We've got plenty of food. Let's just see what the adventures see where the adventures take him. Ocran's Gulf. Uh, if anywhere sounds foreboding, this is it. It certainly doesn't look particularly nice either. I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful running through here. I think. Um, is there anything nearby for us to grab? Should give that a wide berth. That looks like it could be discovered. Bad teeth. Uh, uh is there a toothbrushing stat? What, what does that mean? Oh, is that city? Uh, oh, bad teeth. There we are. Holy mines. Oh shit. There it is. Uh, well, this place looks a bit more pleasant to be honest. Yeah, this is this is slightly nicer. Actually, actually, some trees, a little bit of a little bit of water. Oh no! <laughs> Why do I think this is a terrible idea? All oh, those big meaty thighs. Look at that. Well, he's not getting any push off of that. Skinner's Rome. Yep. No, this sounds even more pleasant. Great. Oh, this is good. What what a, what a pilgrimage we're going on here. That looks like what we're here for. I think we've actually found it. Let's get over there as soon as possible. See what we can see. What we can loot from them. Where are they fighting? Oh look, oh, they actually are. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just grab what we can then and, and run back to the city. Holy shit, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Get in there, meat. Steal whatever they've got. Okay, uh, armor, monk robe, holy nation. How much is it worth? Barely anything. The gold is pretty good, though. What about the... The swords would be fantastic, but we, can, we can't carry many of them. Um, give me that, then. Holy shit. Holy shit. We're, we're rich. Hang on. Let's rearrange our inventory, too. Right, there we are. Uh... You guys got anything? Oh man, I want these guys to die. The ones with the cool helmets. It's got to be one of them's got to have died in this in this whole fight, right? Yeah, here we are. Okay. Uh, what what is that? You've got that string of cats. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, uh, 350 cats added. Oh, okay. Um, they've got Naganata, which is basically the same as what we've got right there. Uh, flared helmet. Is that better than what we've got right now? Uh. I wish there was a comparison. I wish you bought what you've already got equipped. I don't know, but it looks cooler, so I'm going to take that. Um, right, okay. Armor. The armor's... You dare steal from the law. Oh, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You're a liar. I wouldn't. I've never done any such thing in my life. Oh, there's so much loot around. Okay, let's wait for them to fuck off first. Run meat. Run meat. Run, 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 run. Okay. We do look absolutely absurd now. Oh, is that going to make us, like, faction uniform? Oh, no. United Cities. Oh, it's a disguise. I'm gonna eat that. I don't. I don't want to accidentally look like I'm part of a faction that I'm definitely not part of. But this works though. This could be a lot of gold we're getting there. Let's we'll go pick through all the bodies in a second again. Just gonna kind of sit here and let them fight it out. Okay, there we go. Are they after? Oh, they're after me again. Get out of here. Get out of here. Do you think we can fight this dude? How is there already see his stats? Um, samurai. Attack is 42. Our attack is 18. Okay. Goodbye. Well, remember roughly where they are. So they're in kind of this, this little basin. Uh, and wait, where's the city again? Somewhere back here. Uh, there it is. 
So it's in kind of a basin directly... I mean, I'm going to say north, even though I'm not entirely sure what direction it is. Let's just get out of there. Let's just fucking bail for the timing. Hello, you guys You guys friends? There's more of them. Wow. It just goes to me, I don't think there's anybody actually in this city. I think it's completely abandoned. Uh... It's like a, a, a... Is that supposed to be a person? There is a person there. They're not doing anything, though. Okay, so these guys are completely gone. There's no bar and nowhere to sell it. Damn, really? Oh, that's a shame. Okay, I guess my plan's not quite as good as I thought it was. Oh, sweet Jesus, what is that? <laughs> uh, hello. A skimmer. Uh, do you think we could fight that? I don't think we could fight that. Although, it did kill that other dude. Where, where, where did he die? I wish there was a way to... Show corpses. Well, there he is. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Me, go, see, go to see what he's got. Go to, oh, he's still alive. Shit. Uh, matter of the United States. Should I, should I help him or should I finish him off? Oh, this is, this is me. We've got to go for some war crimes here. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna help him up. Never mind. At least I think that's what he's doing. Right, let's try looting again. Even if we just get the coins, I know our inventory is full, but even if we just get the coins, it's better than nothing. Okay. Uh, are these guys, these guys hate me still. They fucking hate me still. Oh, come on. I did was pick up a freaking helmet. I didn't realize that was a crime. I think I've I think I've lost him. Right, let's come back again. And very slowly pick through them. Uh, oh, we need to tend our leg shit. Okay, that'll do. Thank you. Um, right, tend yourself. I wish there was a way to see bodies on the map, like outline them or something. If that's a mod, I might I might need to get myself one of those. Um, attack unprovoked. Yeah, kill him. Take him down. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. He was on the floor. He was on the floor and then just got up and started attacking us. Maybe he was playing dead? Oh, fuck. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not sorry, though. Attack. Come on. Me. All this time and effort. All this training. The man's mostly dead. We got a friend. A friend's here to help us. No, that's definitely not a friend. That's an enemy. Come on. <gasps> He's fucking done it. He's fucking done it. T tend, 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 tend. Oh, my God. Oh, there's another one. Oh, shit. We're down. Stab us in the back. Stab us in the back. Unconscious. But everybody said being unconscious is part of doing business. It's part of doing business. So the second we're back up on our feet, we'll get ourselves tended as soon as possible. I don't think we're looking at any life-threatening injuries. You got a bit of a stab in the leg. That's okay. We're not missing any limbs. We've still got plenty of blood. We're good. And he's up. Perfect. Okay. Let's get tending. Let's get tending. Right. I'm going to, while he's tending, just keep an eye on, keep an eye out for enemies. And we're fine. See? Nothing wrong. Okay. Uh, give me your gold. Thank you very much. Look at this guy. String of cats. 30. Bandages, too. This is so good. 41 cats. Who needs to mine copper when you can just loot, loot the dead? Is he... Is he... Fuck! Is he someone we could potentially fight back? Just go for it. What's the alternative? We're not going to be able to escape from him. Although he is... Shit. I was going to say quite heavily injured. Okay. So we'll wait to wait back up again. They've all gone now, though. Well, they seem to be completely away from the area. So besides the few that keep getting up from their injuries who are knocked out, besides that, we, we seem pretty good. Recovery coma. That doesn't seem good. The words recovery coma don't seem pretty good. Uh, until all critical body parts have recovered above zero. Well, surely that's just not going to happen. What, what do you mean by critical body parts? My head? Well, that's it. It's slowly getting worse. To be fair, it says that about our chest, and it's quite clearly regenerating. Maybe the yellow goes back up to where the red is. And then, and then we have to patch it up after that stage? I have no idea. I guess we'll just lie on the floor. There he is. Could have died in a more dignified position. He's up. Oh my god, I never thought I'd see the day. Right, let's get him patched. And again, everybody's dead now. Everyone's dead or crippled or gone. So I think we should be able to safely go through all these corpses, take their meager amount of pocket change, and be on our merry way. What have you got there? Whoa. Wow, look at that. That's cool. I mean, a little unnecessary. And again, it's it's faction uniform too. So you can't really do much with that. Oh, there we go. Boom. Another 300 cats. Very good. Um, Yeah, apparently there's no key or, or mod or anything to highlight bodies on the floor, which is mind-blowing given that everything in this game is a fucking shade of beige. So it'd be quite nice to be able to tell that apart, especially for those of you mod uh, watching this on mobile. If you are, I probably wouldn't bother, to be honest, because this is difficult for me to see. Let alone you guys. Holy shit. Oh, there we are. That's all we're after. We want more of these guys to die. They've got the good shit. Um, I also stole some of their better swords here as well. Um, right, let's maybe swap. Can we combine bandages? Is there a way to do that? No, apparently not. Um, we're here for gold at the end of the day. We've got plenty of bandages. So let me take your fancy sword there. Good shit. Right, so we've looted all of that. And we've got 2,900. 
Good. Uh, good. That was that was worthwhile. And if there are any others, I guess I'm, well, there's a guy we could we could probably have. Look at him limping away. Get in there. Get in there. This is this is free melee training. Paladin. Okay. Attack and provoke. Get him. Get him. Come on. He's basically on death's door anyway. Actually, no, he's really not. Oh shit! I may have made a terrible idea. Stop this, heinous heretic. Get him. Come on. Oh fucking shit, me. He's a terrible man. He's a terrible man. Good block, good block. Oh, good shit. 12 damage, good shit. <gasps> Did we just cut that man's leg clean off? Meet the bounty hunter. Whoa, look at that, though. I mean, it looks cool. It's unfortunately worthless. What? String of cats, 70... Wow, okay, hang on, hang on. Paladin Cross is a very, very powerful sword. Yeah, have, have, let's just eat this on the floor. Give me that shit. Boom. You got caught stealing. Why would I care? Is he not dead? Oh, playing dead? Can I... Splint injuries. Can I not just finish him off? Alright, never mind then. Uh, what about his shirt? Oh, it's Kansas Faction uniform, though. <laughs> Got caught stealing. It's a 100% steal chance. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> really? Ha, there we go. Okay. It's worth 1,000. Um, if we could, like, swap it out for one of these, but they don't fit our inventory, do they? Uh, nope. Brilliant. Alright, never mind then. Uh, got caught stealing, thank you. I guess we'll take back our other sword, because I honestly think I was better then. I didn't want to steal it to sell it, but never fucking mind. There you go. Right, give me, give, me, give me that back. There we are. Well, what a complete waste of time. All of that looting, and we've got 3,600 gold to show for it. I'll just go back to mining. Here we are, back where we started, having earned 10 times as much gold from banging away at this rock. Holy shit. So here's what I think about Kensho. I was just talking about this with the, with the people in Discord. Uh, public Discord. Links below. I basically said that... I mean, I've been recording this now. Probably, probably you guys uh, won't have noticed this if I'd have done the editing, right? But I've been recording this now for coming up for four hours. After I've obviously edited it and uploaded it, that's going to be almost six hours per video. That's just not feasible on a day-to-day -day basis anyway for someone who has to put out three videos a day. The issue I'm finding with this game is that I there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk about. 90% of this episode was me running through a freaking desert. Everything is a shade of beige. I think it is the type of game I would enjoy when I know what exactly I have to do with it. It's the same story for people trying to work out RimWorld or CK2. The games just basically throw you in at the deep end and say, find something to do. And it can be a little overwhelming not knowing at the start. Now, I am following guides and whatever in the background, but even then, they're incredibly vague. It seems to be... <laughs> it seems to be a feature of this game that, that people are very coy about what you should and should not be doing. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this in my own time. Not on a series, because I can't make it entertaining, being realistic with you. And I feel, again, extremely sorry for mobile users trying to watch this. I can't make this entertaining. So I'm just going to play it in my own time. And maybe I'll come back to it for a series when I actually know what the fuck the game is about. And what the end... What, what, the, what you can... Not, not what the end goals are, but what you can expect from the end game. You know, what there is to build towards. What there is to do here. Because being dropped in a world is, is, is one thing. And being able to forge away. But we're not given much, really. Besides our... Obviously, our various different starts there. I want to work out what this game is about. Because that's what I... I still just don't understand what is the... What is the ethos of this game? Because I have no fucking clue besides wander around in a desert trying not to die. So I'm going to leave the Kenshi series here. But I will come back to it. One day. When I know what the hell is going on. Or when I know what to expect. And more importantly, when I'm comfortable throwing mods at it. With the understanding of what they actually do. Because it's all well and good to suggest, oh, add this mod and this mod and this mod. But I have no idea what the context of that is in regards to the game. I want to experience Kenshi as is intended. At least the first playthrough. And then in the future, when I can when I can actually add some variation to it, we will come back to this later on. But I'm going to sit here in my spare time and keep, keep messing around with me. Seeing what I can do with this game. See, seeing what I can get out of it. And then in the future, we'll, uh, we'll come and check this out. If you'll excuse me, I have... Four hours worth of footage to try and comb through to make this into something vaguely entertaining. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Scared Blueberry, Gogolus, Sarabi, Anthony Gawley, Goatfather, Chris, Bad Burrito 3 and 6, Alex, Distorted Triangle, Scorched, Pelvis Presley, Crow Skull, Limpy George, Amethyst Corona, Asana Kurato, Zazzy7011, Harry McGowan, and Peyton Denisar for their support over at Patreon. Thank you guys for allowing me to spend six hours running around a fucking desert 
Thank you as well to, not that I'm too bitter, thank you as well to Peanut Gorilla, Derek F, Harry Soft, Zega the Chaos King, Zulu, Attila, I am Sagatair, Genji Zerka, Jackson P, Jacob Wolfie, Cogsdale, Hayde, Chronic Blob, Jeebus Crust, Luan Thomas, and the other patrons as well. Let's see what, we, what else we can find to do.